Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Divine Masculine Guidance. Welcome if you're new. My name is Sarah Walsh and I am uh, an intuitive coach and a Holy Fire Reiki master. Um, today is just, uh, I'm just doing a little informal video, a little, just wanted to chat with you guys. Um, I had a dream last night, or this morning, right before I woke up actually, and then um, I put on, happened to put on this shirt today, um, which you can't see, but I can put it on here for a second. It says, I live in my own reality. Oh, now i got to fix the camera yet. So, um, the, the dream and then my shirt message together, like, I started getting this uh, message and realized I wanted to share it with you guys. Uh, so, this video, I'm going to title it, well, I don't know what I'm going to title it, but it's <laughs> basically, it's going to be about taking your power back so that you can consciously create your own reality. Um, because we are always co-creating our reality at all times, but most of us are just doing it um, unconsciously. So um, anything that you see in your life, you have created in some way, which uh, I might have triggered some of you. Uh, we're going to talk about triggers too. Um, but it's true. It is true. It's just that um, for me, one of the biggest things that I have learned is that is to become a conscious co-creator of my life, co-creating with the universe, with the spirit. Um, because, yeah, life... Uh, has been a lot better since I have had that realization. So I wanted to share this this lesson with you guys that I have learned and uh, this message. So um, I had a dream, like I said, this morning. Um, and I, I was in a restaurant and I was eating. And I, I was, as I was eating, I was accidentally scraping the plate with my fork. And it was making that an, a noise, which is a trigger for me. I have um, what's called misophonia. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but it's basically I'm very sensitive to sounds, and so I can get very like triggered by sounds, even like anger. It triggers anger in me listening to someone else chew, chew their food or something like that. So anyway, in my dream, I was I was accidentally making that noise, and I couldn't I couldn't not do it. And then there were like a group of people that were at a nearby table, and they were being really loud and kind of rambunctious and I so I just like I just stopped eating and I just put my hands over my ears like this and I was just sitting at the table and my ex-boyfriend who I don't know why he pops up in my dreams every once in a while <laughs> still but he does uh he came up I guess he was with me and he had been at the bar or something and he came back to the table and he's like he laughed at me and he's like why are you covering your ears and I said because of all these things are triggering, all these noises are triggering me. And this is like, this is what I can do to, to manage that, manage those triggers for myself. And then, um, yeah, so then that made me think about how important it is for people to realize that you can't control other people ever, period. You cannot control other people. You cannot control what they do. You cannot change them. You cannot, I mean, you can try to tell them what to do, but <laughs> but you can't really make them do anything, um, right? So the, um, but this is good when you have this realization, when you realize that if someone's doing something that you don't like, there you can't change that. And I spent a lot of my life wasted a lot of my life trying to like control other people and tell them what they should do and shouldn't do because I thought I knew best or whatever. Um, and when I had that epiphany of like, I don't control other people and that was so freeing to me. It was so freeing because I then could stop wasting my time and my efforts and my energy out there trying to control things that are happening out there and I, and I, was then able to turn that focus inward on myself and realize that's where my power is. That's where your power is. You have the power inside of you and you only get to control what you do, how you react to things, the things that you say, the things that you do, anything. Um, but this is good, like I said, because then you can become a conscious creator of your life because you're not wasting your time and energy out externally. This is like a big theme that you'll hear me talk about a lot is that our 
society and maybe the way that we're wired or whatever is that we're taught to turn to have to focus externally for our happiness and for everything we look externally we're like oh maybe i want this person to do this or i want this thing because it's going to make me happy or uh, the real power comes in realizing that happiness is an inside job and that sounds kind of cliche but it's true um when you realize when you stop looking outside of yourself everywhere for everything and focusing your energy and your attention externally and you start to focus in inward that's when you your life will change for the better um not that your life is just going to be easy or anything like that but it's just so freeing to take your power back to not be giving your power away to external circumstances and situations and other people and things that you don't have control over because then you feel powerless. Then you feel like you're not, you know, you can't do anything about your situation or you can't change your life for the better. So it's really good when you can have that realization of put the focus on yourself and stop, wor stop worrying what other people are doing. Um, yeah. I'm trying to think if I wanted to say anything more about that. Um, so then the other thing with the dream about being triggered that I want to say is that being triggered by something is actually a good thing. It doesn't feel good <laughs> when you're triggered. You, you, you all know what that feels like. Um, but when you're triggered, that's showing you something about yourself that needs attention, that needs something, something you might need to work on or some healing that you might need to do. Um, Yes, people do things that are inconsiderate, that are malicious, that are rude. Again, you cannot control that. So I always try to look at when I'm triggered. I'm not perfect. I, obviously, I'm a human. We're all human. None of us are perfect and we won't be, won't be perfect. But um, I do try now when I get triggered by... I don't get triggered by things as much as I used to because of the lessons that I've learned, learning to take my power back and also to try to be a neutral observer. Um, because I've realized that when I let other people control my emotions, I'm letting other people control me, right? Your emotions are your power. That's where you create from. You create with your thoughts and your emotions combined. So when I realized that, that letting the other external things trigger me was giving my power to those things, I was like, oh, hell no. I'm not doing that anymore. <laughs> I was like, I, I'm a control freak. So I'm like, no, I'm not here. I'm trying to control everybody else. And I'm like, no, control yourself. That's the only thing you can control. And that is powerful though. So anyway, the triggers. So when I get triggered, I always, and I can't always do it, but I try to look at it as like, sometimes like people just do crappy things and you just have to accept it and move on or whatever. So, but I do try to always look at it and say, is there some lesson in this for me? Is this trigger teaching me something about myself or pointing something out about myself that maybe I wasn't aware of um, so that I could look at that and maybe do a little work on that if I need to? And sometimes it's not really, but usually there, usually if something's triggering you, it's something to do with you because the world that you see is a mirror of what you have inside of you. It's a reflection. And that's how, that's why when you change yourself, you change your world. And when you change when you heal yourself, you heal the world because that's, that's the key. That's what I'm talking about here is that you can only control yourself, but in doing so, you create your own reality and you help change the world. So anyway, um, I think that's all I had to say for this message. I hope that made sense. I feel like it was kind of scattered and rambling, but I'm doing the best I can today. Um, so uh, if you would like to work with me, you can send me an email. Um, I do one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions over video chat. Um, and thank you for watching my video and supporting my channel. Please remember to like, uh, leave a comment if you have anything to say about this or anything. Um, I read all the comments and I try to reply. I think sometimes I miss one 
here and there, but I do try to go back and read them all. So feel free to say anything that you would like to comment. Um, did I say subscribe? I don't know. <laughs> if I didn't, please consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so that you are notified whenever I um, upload a new video. And I'll see you next time. Bye.